Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to give a long term review on the OnePlus Nord C, which is a replacement for the original OnePlus Nord. So let's start with this video. Myself is Sean Fazil and you're watching Mr. Technical Boss. So this is the new OnePlus Nord CE. It has some cost cuttings, which does makes this phone not worth for the price. It is a very compact phone and feels good to hold. But other than that, it's just a downgrade from OnePlus Nord. C is good, but for the price in this comes, we do expect more. If you compare C with Nord, the base variant of C has 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, compared to Nord has 6, 6 plus 64GB. That's the only good thing about C. After that, it has only downgrades. Like C gets a plastic back and plastic frame, but Nord gets plastic frame but Gorilla Glass back finish which does makes the in-hand experience very premium. And the one thing which most of the OnePlus fans or tech guys are going to hate is that OnePlus have removed the alert slider from CE. That's the key feature from OnePlus and removing that is awful. Both the phones come with mono speaker and the quality of the speaker is good. Both the phones have same 6.4 inch 90Hz AMOLED display but not gets Gorilla Glass 5 protection and C doesn't. And coming to the processor, C gets 750G processor but Nord comes with 765G processor which is better than 750G because it is a 7 nanometer chipset which has better clock speed and works seamlessly. Coming to the camera, C has 64MP Omnivision sensor and Nord has 14MP Sony IMX586 sensor. As you guys know, the MP doesn't matter if the sensors are good and Nord having a Sony sensor can easily beat the Omnivision sensor of CE. And most importantly, C does not have OS, which is must in this price range. Whereas Nord does get OS, and C does not have a ultra wide front camera, which Nord does have. C does have a slightly bigger battery, but the charges are the same. If you see this comparison, you can see that C does have big cost cutting compared to Nord, which I feel OnePlus should not have been done. And for the same price, when you get the original Nord and you get all the things which you have to compromise in CE, why would someone think of going for CE? The one wrong decision they took was the pricing. If they thought of keeping the price near to 20,000 rather than 25,000, this might be the phone for many people. The price is what makes this phone not to go for. And being OnePlus, the lower variant won't be easily available and thinking that it will be getting is a tough thing. Here are some camera shot. do check this out, the camera quality is decent. Do let me know what in the comment section what you guys think about this camera and if you are enjoying this video, a subscribe to the channel would be appreciated. The battery performance is also good, it gets 7.5 hours on screen on time, on light usage and 6 hours on medium to heavy usage, which is quite good. But the thing is, C is not totally a bad phone. The company made mistake with bad pricing. It is overpriced and does have a lot of cost cutting compared to the original Nord. OnePlus is actually replacing Nord with Nord CE. Because Nord is not available at any online markets like Amazon and Flipkart. For the price range, you would expect more from such brands like glass protection, glass back, more premium feel. And the alert slider which most of the OnePlus users are going to miss in this smartphone. It is told as future proof phone because it is a 5G phone, but not really because it has only one 5G band whereas the international model has 12 5G bands which is insane. But the company is having customer issues nowadays, OnePlus is bringing updates which is ruining the old phones, like the company is forcing the customers to buy their new phones. And OnePlus has Oxygen OS as a weapon in mid-range phones because of its clean OS experience. And expect OnePlus to not ruin anything in the upcoming OnePlus Nord. Do let me know in comment section what you guys think about this phone. So that's it for now. Don't forget to hit the like button, share the video with your friends and please do subscribe to my channel for more tech videos. Thanks for watching. My name is Isham and you're watching Mr. Technical Boss.